Hey guys, Silence here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the most profitable Slayer creatures in RuneScape 3. I will be organizing the following list based on the Slayer level required to kill them. So it will be organized based on that. All the creatures are really profitable, however there are some on this list that are profitable as well. Um, these to me are just the most profitable slate creatures that you guys can kill in RuneScape 3. And if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you do hit that like button and subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So jumping right into it, we have our first Slayer creature, the Iowerth Scouts. And these you can kill at level 1 Slayer. However, the other requirements do include Plagues and which of course is the quest to unlock Priftinus, and as you can see they are located in Priftinus. So they can be assigned by five different Slayer Masters, starting at Simona, and of course that big requirement is Plague's End, even though there is only one Slayer level required. Iworth Scouts have a really high accuracy, which allows them to quickly deplete your life points, so they are a pretty high level creature and you can make a lot of money per hour off them, around 4 to 6 mil per hour. Um, but they are pretty tough to kill, they will damage you a lot. Um, curses are highly recommended for this creature as for pretty much every creature I will be listing in this video, so just keep that in mind. Um, but overall you don't really have any crazy notable drops. Um, you will expect to get some rune salvage, some noted herbs, and some coin drops, that's what you'll make most of your money off of. The next Slayer creature that I'm going to show you guys is Glacors, and they require 56 Slayer to kill. The other big requirement is the Ritual of the Majarit quest. So this high level quest does need to be completed to unlock the Glacor cave which the Glacors are located in. And you can make around 3 to 4 mil per hour killing Glacors. Their notable drops include the Rage Fire Boots, the Glaven Boots, the Steadfast Boots, and they also do drop Shards of Armadilly, which are pretty profitable, but most of your money you will be getting off of these boots. And so the drop rate for each of these three boots are 1 in 1,280, and the Glaven Boots are the most expensive at 21.5 mil, and then the Steadfast Boots are the least expensive at 5.9 mil. Now we are going to jump up to level 76 layer where you can kill a Must Buzz. The other big requirement is the Fate of the Gods quest, and this is because they are located in the World Gate, and as you can see they are located in the Cradle on Freneske. Um, also the GP per hour, you can expect around 4 mil per hour. Um, they are aggressive and they don't deal too much damage, so that is pretty nice. Um, recommended is to use the Ancient Magics, which does require the Desert Treasure Quest, and this does give you a 50% damage boost on Must Buzz. So this quest and spell is really important. Um, so Must Buzz don't really have any super great drops. Um, they're pretty consistent money. Their notable drops are the Dragon Mace and the Rune Salvage, which is where you will be making most of your money from. And next we have Nihil's. And the Slayer level required for these are also 76 Slayer. They too require the Fate of the Gods quest. And then also 87 Summoning. And this is to make the Nihil Pouches, which is where you will be making most of your money. They are located in the Pit on Freneske, which is also the World Gate. And the GP per hour, you should expect an easy 5 to 6 mil per hour just by making these Nihil Pouches. And of course, their notable drops, the Icy and Feather. Avianchi Talons, Demon Horns, and Vampire Fangs, and these are all the summoning ingredients to make their specific Nihil pouch. Um, when killing Nihils, um, you should only focus on the Smoke Nihils. They have the worst ability. So what Smoke Nihils do is they will lower your stats, but if you do drink an Overload Potion, then it keeps your stats static, so they will not decrease whenever the Smoke Nihil does use its special ability. And this is why Smoke Niles are the easiest to kill, and that is if you do have uh, Overloads. So Overloads is also another really important item for this method. And moving on to our next creature, another level 76 layer creature in Rune Dragons. And these creatures too have the quest requirement of Fate of the Gods, also the Ritual of Majarit, 
is required for Rune Dragons. So as you can see, these two quests are highly related with Slayer and Slayer creatures. So have these done if you want to unlock some of these high level creatures. Um, they are located on Mount Firewake, which is located in the World Gate. You can make around 5 mil per hour killing Rune Dragons. And then their notable drops include the Steadfast Scale, which is around 12 mil. And then there's the Glaven Wingtip around 2 mil. Also, the Rage Fire Gland is in there at 1.2 mil. And then, of course, the Dragonic Visage. So, Rune Dragons are definitely a pretty nice creature for GP. And now, our next Slayer creature, we have Nightmares. And these require a level 80 Slayer and also the quest Children of Ma. And they are located in Freneske, um, which is the World Gate. Um, so, Fae of the Gods is also required for Nightmares. Um, the GP per hour is different on and off task, so you should expect around 8 mil per hour on task and 5 mil per hour off task. And this is primarily because the Nightmare Gauntlets, which is their notable drops. So the drop rate for Nightmare Gauntlets is 1 in 2,000 on task and then 1 in 10,000 off task. So that is where this GP differential does come from. You can kill around 400 Nightmares per hour which means you should get one Nightmare Gauntlet every about five tasks. And then the Nightmare Gauntlets are worth right around 20 mil, so they are really a nice drop to actually get. And now our next Slayer creature, we do have Spiritual Mages at level 83 Slayer, and the only other requirement is Troll Stronghold to unlock the God Wars Dungeon. So this is more of an old Slayer creature, um, not as many high quest requirements, which is pretty nice. The GP per hour is 2 to 5 mil. So 2 mil if you are killing them in the God Wars dungeon. And you can get up to 5 mil if you're killing them in, in your player owned dungeon. Some of their notable drops include battle staffs. So they have noted regular battle staffs as well as all the elemental battle staffs. That can be alked for some pretty good profit. And then they also drop the ghostly essence, um, which does add up if you do get these drops and of course the iconic abyssal demons had to be on this list um, they do require 85 slayer to kill no other requirements they are located in the slayer tower and the gp per hour is around two to three mil per hour um, it does take in a lot of costs because when you are killing abyssal demons you will want to do it pretty afk so you'll want to use your aggression potions you will want to use your spring cleaner your prayer potions to keep your prayer up so all these things do cost a lot which will decrease your profit which is why it's only two to three mil per hour the notable drops so they don't really have any super great drops anymore they have their rune salvage and then their iconic abyssal whip drop which is only around 70k right now and so next we have edamu at level 90 slayer and they also do require 115 dungeoneering so a pretty high requirement um, plague's end is also required as they are located in the edamu resource dungeon which is in priftinus the gp per hour is really good at five to six mil per hour as they do have that one big notable drop being the blood necklace shard at 9.5 mil and they aren't even too rare they're one in 512 so definitely not a super rare drop for its worth. And at level 92 Slayer, you will be able to kill Eretz, and they don't have any other requirements. They are located west of the Phoenix Lair, and also in Kurodel's dungeon, but this is only if you are on task. And the GP per hour is around 3-4 to four mil per hour. Um, they don't really have any great drops anymore they have rune salvage you'll be making a lot of money off these and their air at bones and then their notable drop is razorback gauntlets however they have really decreased in price and they're only around 400k right now and this next slayer creature is one of my favorites at level 94 slayer you can kill lava strike worms they don't really have any other requirements However, they are located in the Wilderness, level 34 to 41 Wilderness, so they are a risky creature to kill. However, the GP per hour is amazing at 7 mil per hour. Their notable drops include the Searing Ashes, which they drop every time 
Um, they also have a rare drop of around 5 Searing Ashes, which is really nice. And Searing Ashes are worth around 40k right now, which is why you will be making 7 mil per hour killing them. And then also they have the Worm Heart drop, Worm Scalp, and Worm Spike drops. These are really rare, but they are really profitable as the Worm Spike is 15 mil, the Worm Scalp is 20 mil, and then the Heart is 28 mil. The drop rate for each of them is 1 in 12,000 off task and then 1 in 6,000 on task. Next, at level 96 layer, you can kill living wyverns and they don't have any other requirements. They are located in the Asgarnian Ice Dungeon and then the GP per hour is extremely high if you are good at killing them. And so you can make around 8 to 12 mil per hour and the 12 mil per hour would be the on task portion so you will make more if you are on task and this is because you'll have a higher drop rate of getting the wyvern crossbow which is its big notable drop and also the most important thing about living wyverns to achieve this gp per hour is that you really need to be good at killing them they have a lot of really difficult mechanics to them so much so that i actually banned them because i I just can't deal with them, but if you guys do know how to kill them, if you are really effective at killing them and you learn how to do it, then you can make around 8 to 12 mil per hour, which is the highest on this list. And so the last creature on this list is the Bulbous Crawlers, and they require 106 Slayer to kill and no other requirements. They are located in the Lost Grove, and the GP per hour is pretty good at 5 mil per hour off task and then 9 mil per hour on task and this is mostly because of the notable drops so they drop the cinderbane gloves which have a much higher drop rate when you are on task and then they also drop the ancient elven ritual shard which is a pretty profitable drop so overall bulbous crawlers really nice creature to kill they are the highest layer level on this list and they can make you some pretty good gp per hour also, the mechanics when killing bulbous crawlers aren't even too difficult, so that is a nice little bonus to this creature as well. Anyway guys, these are the most profitable Slayer creatures in RuneScape 3. I really hope you guys did enjoy the video and you learned something from it. Um, this week that I am uploading the video, it is Slayer Week on RuneScape 3, so definitely make sure you, that you check out some of these Slayer creatures throughout the week. Also, feel free to join my Discord server. The invite link is in the description down below. Also, my friends chat is silencedYT. So, it would be awesome if you guys joined one or both of those. Also, if you did like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content. Anyway, guys, I really hope to see you in the next one. Peace.